You're seeing it for the first time. I'm going back to the past. Let's go right? to the old yeah. block. Yoki's always been my favorite because my mother used to make this homemade. This is where the mob the hung mob out. guys were here. If they needed a favor from me, they got it. But I didn't want nothing back in return from them. Except their love. That's it. He was in charge of the neighborhood. Frankie. Frankie's mob. Back then, you didn't settle things with guns and knives. Those are the moves. Those are the moves. Oh, cannoli will always be a cannoli. Now it's um, not Albanians. Don't screw with them either. Dude. No, no, no. Uh, I know that. I get emotional. Sneaking away from mom and dad. Hey, sweetheart. Yeah, but they used to watch from the window. Here in Mafia used to control this whole area. Who controls the block now? We do. Is your mother or father? Both. You cannot erase great memories. With that, yeah. Sports journalist almost 40 years. Who's this guy in your car? That's Gio Gonzalez, my aunt. He just retired. We became buddies. I became his lucky charm. Whenever I covered a game of his, he won. We'll go 187 uh, and look at the pastry shop, go up my old block. And some of the good restaurants we would go to a close today. I forgot. It. Yeah, it's Monday. Monday yeah. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Look at these uh, park lots are really nice. Place is still Hello. Open. This is Italian, right? Yeah. yeah. Dominic's. Dominic's was like uh, family style. Okay. You walk in, no menu. What do you want today? No bill at the end. Uh, give me twenty-five dollars and sixty cents. You're from Italy. Yeah, I'm from Naples. I'm Neapolitan. I'm That's not where my Italian. Two generations back. How does it feel being an Italian coming to the States? What are your thoughts about the US? Okay guys, the sponsor of today's video is Cuts Clothing. I like making videos, but I hate shopping. Luckily, I found the best t-shirt of my life that works for everything. From walking the streets in the Bronx with Rich Mancuso to sweltering heat at the Texas border to going out with my wife for dinner, this shirt does it all. The older I get, the more I realize that quality is important. Cuts makes products that last. No stretching, worn out collar, ironing, or pilling. I've used and abused these shirts and they are indestructible and fantastic for traveling. Yes, they cost more than your average t-shirt, but you get what you pay for with cuts. They also have stylish hoodies and long sleeve shirts. If you want one of the most durable slash stylish t-shirts I've come across after years of searching, Here's the best one I've found at a discount. To receive 15% off your order, click on the Cuts link below in the description or use the promo code PETER at checkout. Again, that's PETER at checkout. I wouldn't recommend something to you that I didn't fully believe in or use myself. If you want the best t-shirt of your life, give Cuts a try. What I say to everybody, you know, USA probably is the only country in the world that then they still give it to everybody an opportunity. You know, I work like a dog for the last 11 years, but you know, I got one restaurant, got a second one, I put my car, I'm close to buy my house, you know. You. That's something that uh, people in another country in uh, 10, 11 years, they never do it. You know, if you come in this country and you want to uh, act to it, like you act to it in Naples, you know, then at uh, 2 o'clock I say, oh, I have to go take my lunch and have my break, you know, nap a little bit. No, doesn't work. That's what you better survive. you stay home. You don't survive. No, yeah. better you stay home while you don't survive over here. You can come. But well, the sauce is always like homemade the sauce we make. You know? You see? Oh there we go. Nice. You know? We try to squeeze a little bit like this all the flavor coming up. When I was asking my grandma for recipe, my grandma she said, You don't need it, you're Italian. Yoki's always been my favorite because my mother used to make this homemade. And that's good. That's good. It's all about the sauce. Yeah, my mother made it fresh. Sunday morning, you woke up to that aroma. Right. How is this rate this compared is, to uh, uh, mom's sauce? No, nothing's better than mom's sauce. It's pretty good sauce. Though. Yeah? I'd give this a, a 10. A 10? That's love, huge. If the sauce agrees with me, it's good. And those were Italians working on that bridge. Mm -hmm. Sacrificing their lives, too. A lot of them sacrificed their lives to build. That was their livelihood, and they went into dangerous territory to do it. Underwater, above, wherever. Just... 
We don't get enough credit for what we've done. You're proud. I get emotional. With the Italians or what? I get emotional because that's why we kiss, why we hug, why we kiss. If I love you a lot, if I like you a lot, I'll give you a kiss on a cheek. Right. It shows our love and gratitude to you because it's la familia, we're family. You could be my friend and such a good friend that I call you family. And if you come into my home, I will treat you like family. If you come into town, I will treat you like family. I mean, I've got friends that don't live here no more, all of all the country, Italian, black, Latino, and I can say they're like family. Do you need a wheelchair? No. Rich, after those two meals? No, I'm just tired. I didn't sleep well. Yeah. Enzo. Enzo's is good. What's this place? Friesian. See what they do outdoor the dining now. On the weekends, the whole street's closed off. Right. They're having outdoor dining. That's a new thing. They're keeping this out here. Yeah. It's a nice thing. It's nice. Nice. Big wave of Italians came over 19 teen, the teens, yes, right? Like 12 through they came 20. Here and a lot of these tenements. But it was a big wave before World War One, I, I believe. Yeah. 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 This was all farm work. Yeah. Farmland. Jonas Bronx. He was a uh, Swedish exactly. guy. Exactly. Yeah. And you know the story with him and the name, how the borough became the Bronx. You don't I do, call, but I forgot. You, know, you don't call it the Queens of Manhattan, the Brooklyn, the Staten Island, yeah. because the family was the, the Bronx, Bronx family. family from Sweden. They bought the they yeah. bought the land from the Native yeah. Americans. Yeah, and the borough became yeah. split from Manhattan. Yeah, I gotta say, in the beginning of our talk, you were saying neighborhood sliding, going downhill. Mm -hmm. This this is pretty nice. Well, no, you know why. You're seeing it for the first time. I'm going back to the past. I'm seeing it the way I grew up with it. Right, right, right. And you're seeing it as a visitor, so there's a difference. Yeah. And generally, when people come to the neighborhood to visit, they don't come here. What they do is go to Arthur Avenue to eat, and they go home. I'd just get a cannoli or something. You could have it out here if you want. What's with the Italians? They all put political signs on their doors. What's with uh, that? They've always been that way. They've always been that way. <laughs> oh, wow. So this this place is, was around when you were a kid, right? Yeah. Different owner. I think same family, but... Cannoli will always be a cannoli. You're not going to find a cannoli different anywhere. Unless you leave New York. They're all the same. They're all the same. It's basically a grilled shell. I worked in the old pastry shop down there with my brothers. I didn't last long because I had problems. I'd always have more of the cream on me than putting it in the shell. <laughs> but we all got hired by our Tuso pastry shop, and that's what we did. We'd fill the cannoli shell. They gave us jobs, you know? We're doing a church, and we're going to your your block, right? Yeah, we're going to go to my Is block. Is this the we're church? That's Mon Our Lady of Mont Carmel. You might even be able to walk in there and look at it inside. Oh, beautiful church. My mother and father got married in there. I got baptized, confirmed in there, the whole bit. Before you do that, homemade. All over the world they come here to you. You never have a better ravioli than here. They're closed, huh? Yeah. Borgatis. Gotta come back. Here's the old Roma Cafe. I used to sit here. The Roma Cafe I used to sit inside, outside, and have a cappuccino right here. People lived above, well, they still do live above, yeah, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And here's the old Play Street. Play Street Stickball? This used to be a Play Street for Stickball and closed in the summer. We'd all come here in the summer and we could do what we wanted on this street. They had summer programs here. A lady of Montcalm. Beautiful. And that's now run by a Latino pastor. Getting old. Can't <laughs> uh, 
It's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I still have the architecture in this church. Italian mass no more. It's safe. Latin. When I lived here and grew up here, it was always just Saturday was, was Sunday. People are getting more religious. Saturday, well, this is, you know what? Because this is, uh, Latinos are very Catholic religious. Yeah. Isn't that a beautiful church? Beautiful. Now when I go in there, Pete, I get sentimental. <laughs> because that's where everything happened. Mm -hmm. Mother and father were married there. Got con baptized, confirmed. Funerals. Uh, he's a, my, my father's funeral was here in 1993. And I had a block off the street because he was up to the MI and got a cancer. It was very popular, very known. They blocked up the whole block they here? They blocked us all up because it was a tremendous turnout for his funeral. I delivered the eulogy, too. So I, like, I could remember what I said. Your yeah, old place, right? Yeah, let's go right? to the old yeah. block. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh, yeah. Those are the moves, those are the moves. God bless. What about you, Rich? You got some of those moves in you? No, we used to do the uh, disco duck. <laughs> we were disco, disco dancers. <laughs> you weren't dropping those moves? No. And it was a pay phone here. That's where I used to make my phone calls. Just get out of the house and a dime, a quarter, right here. You right here was the pay phone? Right here on this corner. So you'd come out here, put I the dime in? Put the dime in until I couldn't Who were you calling? I used to call girlfriends, I used to call whatever. Right here. So it was it was mounted in Yeah, it was over here. So Rich Rich Rich, right. Rich would come out. Yeah. Sneaking away from mom and dad. Hey sweetheart. Yeah, but they used to watch from the window. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you where that is. See that building's in great shape. Now, if you look to the extreme right, uh the right? Yeah. The next to last floor. Yeah. I see myself looking out the window where that air conditioner is. The last second to the end? Second to the end to the right. Yep. Okay. See that air conditioner? Yep. That was my old bedroom. And I was on that window all the time. My mother and father's bedroom was next door. And my mother always used to look out that window. <laughs> and dinner time is six o'clock, like we heard earlier. She'd be out that window screaming. Nicholas, Bobby, those are my brothers. Richard, we knew it was dinner time. And you could hear her voice as far as that way. And so when you go to that phone, she could see you from there. Oh, they knew. I come back in the house. Who you, where'd you go? Where'd you get the money from? What are you doing? 
But you know what? We had a guy around here who used to get us unlimited phone calls on the pay phones. Okay. All you had to do was like give him a tip, dollar, two dollars if you had, if you're earning. Years ago when I was a kid, we used to have the old ice truck come around. The guy would come around with, with ice and sell you ice in a truck, in a little pool truck. I'm gonna come up here and now I get emotional. This is, because I look at the windows. That's where you were the second to the end? Yeah, on this side. Okay. And non-elevated building. So figure my mother lugging all the groceries from Arthur Avenue up five flights of stairs. Five or four flights of stairs. She did that almost four to five days a week. And uh, she'd get lost with the traffic, with the people she knew in this neighborhood. The building looks good. Up that window, I see my mother right now. See your mom? Yeah. And above me was a neighbor who was a big Met fan, older fella in the family. I'd be out the window, he'd be above, he would scream at me, did you see what the Mets just did? I said, yeah, Andy, I just saw it. I, Cause he was a big Met fan, so was I as a kid. I was one of the lone Met fans on this block in the neighborhood. In fact, there was a guy that lived up the block, a Mr. Nodal Bully, knew I was a Mets fan, he's a Yankee fan. I'm coming home from school one day, talking Mets, he's insulting me. I got my books with me, including a college thesaurus, and I would try to smile. I said, you wouldn't know, because you don't know what this book is, a thesaurus. Yeah. You know what a thesaurus is, you more? I'd just tell him this like that, because I went back down. He said, no, but I want to see it now. So he took the book and he threw it over this roof. An expensive book. Yeah. Right? My, my mother saw it from the window. Because she was always on that window. She went berserk. She went nuts. She screamed, you get that book back for him, blah, blah, blah. So what happened was, you know what I said? You know what? You got home? Stay there. I went around the corner. I went to see the mob guys. I said, I got a problem. Not a big, 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 but I got a problem. You saw the mob guys back I here. told them what happened. They ran. They got him. They took care of him, and they told him, you go on that roof, you get that book. <laughs> and if it's damaged, you're paying for it for this guy. What did he do? He went up that roof, got it, paid me for a new one because it was damaged. How do you like that? <laughs> and these walls here. So you, you, you put a different view, like you'd have a different look on the mob than most people. Of course, because they cared. Yeah. So most people think criminals, killers, them. you know. If you knew them and they were good to you and they knew what I wanted to do and they saw me with that potential, they were there for me. They helped me. I have a clothesline from the kitchen window to the adjacent apartment across the way. You'd have to tell the neighbor I'm hanging up a clothesline, you know. And everybody then was tight, so you no problem. She'd wash the clothes in the washing machine, the little washing machine, and dry them on the line. Sometimes the clothes would fall down the alley and she would ask me and one of my brothers, can you go down and get it? Who lived here? The Fantuzzi family. The family. Italians right from Italy. We played stickball here, and we played on the next block. What, what is stickball, exactly? You, you have a, a stick and a... stick and a Spalding you bought in the store for five cents. Okay. And you had it. That was it. This, this is a block here that got progressively worse over the years. 183rd Street. The school across the street where I went to public school, PS32. We all went here. And... This block just got progressively worse. So the mob guys would try and control it. They couldn't. Wait, they, the mob couldn't control this one block? No, this whole area. Why? I think they just didn't want to get into a war. Just too much of a headache. Yeah. Gotcha. How are you doing? The mafia used to control this whole area. Yeah. Uh oh. 
Yeah, the guineas or something like the that. The guineas. The guineas, the guineas, the four. Wops. Wops, guineas, yeah. Right. That was like a bad word. Yeah. You know? But you know what I was telling them? A lot of my friends were Latino back then. They lived in the neighborhood. <laughs> who Latino. who controls the block now? Or we do. You guys do, alright. Yeah, this was this was this was always the block to watch. This was Beaumont. We used to have rock fights. Because of the difference now. No guns, no knives. Rocks. Uh. <laughs> the Beaumont's against the Cambrillers. Guys, thank you. Well, have a good yeah, one, right? take care of you guys. Enjoy. Have a good one. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, that, see, calling us guineas back then was a war. <laughs> you don't call us guineas. But they knew. They knew. Uh, what was worse, guinea or wop? Both were the same. My one was easy. Neither one was good, but these buildings have all been renovated. I don't think the young kids know what the words mean, do no, they? but he knew what Guinea was. No, but the meaning of the word. See, if I would I have said, yeah, we used to call you Spicks. Yeah, that wouldn't go over well. No. But I'm saying this younger generation doesn't know the meaning no, of the words, I right? I wouldn't call him. I wouldn't I never call a Latino Spick. Never. Right, right, right. right. Never. This is a nice street here, huh? Yeah, they they did nice here. This used to be run down, burnt out buildings. Yeah, it's beautiful. There were times that we want to walk around here because yeah, these buildings were. Those, those buildings. Where's that? Up, up here? Right here, right after this building, those 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 houses. It was all like you know, they were all burnt houses. down. It's beautiful. Yeah, it was burnt down. I remember. Um, right here, this used to be what a uh, parking lot. Yeah. Destroyed. It was all parking. Lots. I remember these were all burnt out buildings. Yeah. I remember. You live here then? I used to, yeah, I'm from here. All right, My cool. My in-laws live here. Cool. I, I watched this thing change. It's, yes. It changed For the out. better. Better. I grew up here years ago. Way better. It's more calm. But that block near the school was always a rough block, right? Yeah, All yeah. the time. Oh, definitely. 183 and 187 is All rough blocks. All the time. Blocks. Yeah, All the time. Yeah. And in my day, no. Because we had the mafia in control. Uh, that right there, I heard uh, all of Little Italy. I hung out right down here in a club with the mob. It's all mafia. Yeah? My grandfather was telling me, he used to tell me a lot of things. Oh my now it's um, a lot of Albanians. That's it. A lot of Albanians. Well, you don't screw with them either. Do, no, no, no. Uh, I know that. The, I know. Do the Albanians have a mafia? Uh, you, 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 with, you just don't mess with shops, them. I wouldn't be surprised. The cigar shops, you got to see them in the cigar shops. The way they sit around the table, you would think they they would. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like straight out of the movies. Take care, man. Definitely. Thank you. Right, Thank you. Have Thank a good one. Be safe. <laughs> See, I'm amazed that they know, they know the story. So I yeah, know. he's a young guy. He knows the story. These are all renovated. See, this is all new. Ah, oh, great. This, this is all new. So it's interesting. The Albanians have taken up some of the uh, control they that the Italians property. have. They own property. They own buildings. They, huh. They're landlords. They come from over there and they come here. And where they, I don't know how they do it, but they own a lot of property. This is where we used to throw rocks at each other. The Beaumonts would be on that side. I, I'd be, we'd be on the other. That wall was erected. I, that's new. This was a vacant lot. We, we'd have rock fights. And you don't come near us, we don't come near you. We end it with rocks. Better than guns, huh? Back then, you didn't settle things with guns and knives. The only ones that had the guns were the mob. We had rocks and fists. And the cops broke it up fast. You heard a siren, you ran. You saw a cop, you ran. Not today. What happens when people see cops now? They don't care. This is where the mob a hung lot out. Of guys were here, in here. Stationed right here. Yeah, I don't know. Really know. What is it now? I don't know. That's cool. So this whole building. Oh, right, 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 right. The old guys. There we go. You know him? Yeah, they're from the race. How you doing? Uh, I got all the information. You do. I'm the man. <laughs> you Are know the guys the... still in the club? Do they still hang out? No, in the they club? don't. They don't have this club no more. No more, right? No. I, I grew up it. in there with them. Oh, did you? Who? Give me some names, and I'll work with you. <laughs>
about Willie Mays? Oh, I know Willie Mays. He passed, right? No, he's in a nursing home. Uh, Frankie. Frankie Smog. He passed. He passed. How long ago? Frankie must have died about 10 years ago, I'm gonna say. Oh, it's been on that long. He was good to me. I'm living in the building 32 years, and I worked in the building maybe 10 years before I lived here. So I'm here quite a while. So was the, was the neighborhood better when these mob guys were in control, would you say? Was it safer? Hard to say? It's hard to say. I'm biracial. I'm black and Italian. Oh, OK. So I got along. Sometimes I would go in the clubs, they would be like, oh, am I being filmed? Yeah, is that all right? <laughs> yeah, OK. They were. OK. They were like, oh, you know, these niggas. I was like, oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> right, yeah, they right. Would, they would do that, but, yeah, you but know, they didn't Then they mean forgot it. because I was here all the time. Yeah, so they kind and of I don't forgot think, I was you know, I don't think they meant it. Ah. They didn't mean it They didn't harshly. really mean it. Because they were good to them. But I was here for years. Joe, wow. is Joe Lope still Joe around? Joe Lope just died in December. But he was good to me. He sent me to Russia. Joe Lope. Joe sent me to Russia. He had me run the boxing gym he opened in the neighborhood. So then you know uh, Ray, Ray ourselves? Well, Ray passed. I know Ray, Ray passed. Pass. Yeah. Ray and I used to go at war all the time. Ray, so oh, do you Ray, Ray, Ray fought with everybody. Everyone, but I loved him. But I didn't know. Time. I didn't know Frankie died. I didn't know that. Frankie died a long time ago. Was, I he, think Frankie died. He was like 80 years old. Well, he was good to me. There's one guy that still lives here, Vinny. Vinny Zika. I remember him. He still lives here. Is your mom Italian or your father? Yes, my mother's Italian. So how is that growing up in both worlds? I, most of the time I was raised in Italian neighborhoods, actually. And you know, I'm an easy going person, so I blended in. <laughs> What's your name? Rich Mancuso. Cause that's where oh, we are. Oh, I heard, I heard. Oh, I know you. Yeah, I used to live in that building. Around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> See? Wow. You were with the gym or something, wasn't it? That's, I ran the gym for you a You had a brother or something? I have two brothers, Bob and Nick. I, I remember you. You don't remember me? I, I got to switch your mask off. Wow. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Richie, they, make you, I think you lived that, on the third or fourth floor I over there or something? Floor. And you had a, a radio station or something? Yeah, I was a radio station. There you go. <laughs> Who's Ray? Ray was the a trainer, old a boxing boxer. trainer, old school loud mouth, big mouth, fight. Mr. Know it all, hated Ford everybody. It. He loved me and he hated me. And this he is Joe, glad. I think, right here. Yeah, he was in the horse. And Alfiada died a long time ago. He's in the harness game. Track with them. Oh, this, this is the big guy him. right here. That's Joe. This is Frankie Lacasio. Right. Brother. Frankie. He's still in jail, Frankie. Right, right, who I knew. Big monster. Okay, Frankie so the Lacoste. big monster was this guy. Yeah, and I knew him too. Andrew, he was in I'm charge sure. of the neighborhood, huh? This guy. Well, well he, his no, no. brother was, actually. His, his brother. brother was, but he was he was one of the family uh, bosses. Right. And, again, uh, you know his what I His brother mentioned? was the second guy down from Gotti. Right. And second guy from Gotti. Right. And, uh, was his brother. And his they... Name. They respected him. They helped. They didn't destroy. They weren't bad. They weren't bad people. They kept the neighborhood safe. This neighborhood and so many others. That's what anger rage me. What do you think? I mean, uh, well, you speak so highly of them because your life was better with them. They helped me. They helped a young guy, an Italian in the neighborhood, Italian young guy. They helped me. They didn't get me to where I am, what I've done, my career. I did that all myself. But they encouraged me. They kept me, because anybody in this neighborhood could have went on the wrong side. And they kept me straight to go stay, stay the right way. Huh? And they would mentor me. They would friend me. Whatever it is, if I needed something. And I didn't bother them for, for anything. Because if they loved you, like I told you, they were everything. Richie, I know you remember Mike Neely. Yeah. That's the guy I started working with over here, Mike yeah. Neely. Yeah. So they gave you structure. Exactly, that's the word. I didn't need much because I had a good mother and father, but out here on the street, and I needed a place to hang out, talk, away Stay from my friends, yeah. it was them. So the, it's actually the, the mob guys that can keep nah, you out of trouble. Use that word. Okay, <laughs> it's actually, what should I call them? The neighborhood guy. Actually, the neighborhood <laughs> watch. Yes. Uh, Nothing bad to say about them. Nothing, nothing I don't at all. care what people think. Are you saying that because you're on camera? 
No. Okay. No, no. I'd say it in first. No, I, no, no. I, if I had a kiss there ring whatever it is i would i wouldn't be married yeah but this guy was too humble to say hey, they 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 like i said wanted to push me in with to get the daily news full-time spot but nah i gotta do it hey, you were on channel 12 wasn't yeah, you i was yeah i, uh, I remember I, I, did TV, I, uh, I got a good memory uh, <laughs> i got a good memory so it's just it's basically whoever helps you in life right you want to well you want to get ahead you want to be safe if you look at the bronx tail and this yeah. is something that i encourage you to do that you haven't done yet i know i haven't, seen, seen, it. I you see haven't it. seen it yet maybe tonight even you get though, a good... even though it was filmed in brooklyn yeah okay, okay. Yeah, but, yeah none of it was filmed no there. none of it even the, but they in the, the, the portrayal of the church Montcalmo was horrible it was in brooklyn Something. They did it at the Silver Cup studio. Uh, I don't know where That's they, where they it, but I know it wasn't the in studio. the studio. But if you look at the Bronx Tale, which is a true story, that explains a lot about this neighborhood. And Sonny, the main guy, who was looking after a young guy, and the father didn't want it, just like my father didn't want it. My father knew all of them, but he didn't want My father did not want me around any of them. Because I was the sports guy, and what do you think all these guys were? They're all sports guys, uh -huh. and they loved me because they knew... they're they're doing betting, right? And, yeah, sports betting back yeah. in the day, and you know everyone knew that, but they loved me because they knew I knew my sports, they knew the talent I had, and if they needed a favor from me, they got it. But I didn't want nothing back in return from them. I never did, except never their did. love. That's it. Just, that's all, that's that's all, all you need. Because if I needed them, and I did a few times, like I've told you, over the course of the last few hours, if I needed them, and not because I wanted to do it, they were there for me. So the respect was there. Part of La Familia, which I just saying. You cannot erase great memories. And this neighborhood, and my Italian roots, you can't erase great memories. Look at this. And my Italian roots too, you can't erase it. And Joe Lowe was it. one of the best. It's one of the best. There'll never be another one like him. Nope. I'm going back that way to the bus to get home. All right. We got it. Two more minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to charge it for my time. <laughs> All right, guys. Little walk down Rich's memory lane. Well, this is Beaumont Avenue. This was part of it but wait, Rich, we're, we're closing the video we're stopping oh, well, you, well. i got two minutes left oh, okay. and you said you're gonna charge me now <laughs> don't be kidding <laughs> hope we do this again yeah that was fun so guys uh i got a lot out of that i hope you did too it's really it's cool to see your your world the old world let's call it but also that restaurant we went into was was new Italians coming in. That was interesting. Yeah. I didn't think that was happening. It was great, it was a good meal. And uh, uh, it's new, I had never been there before. So, I and mean, I like what I had, I'll go back. So, but, very interesting cultural experience. And I love this neighborhood. I know it's not what it was, but come out to this to part of the city. Visit, like Arthur I, Ave. Like I said, it's, you can't erase the great memories. Okay. That'll never be erased. I'm going to be cheesy and say people should come out here and make new memories. Well, Arthur Ave, right? Yeah, yeah, they okay. should. Uh, does it mean I have to come back and live here in my later years? No, no. Does it mean I could come back and visit and always remember and run into who may be still here? Yeah. Rich, that was awesome. My pleasure, Peter. And I want to leave all of Rich's links down below. He's, uh, you got a website, right? Uh, yeah, I'm on coming. social media. The, the, the coming, your social YouTube media. YouTube channel is going up soon. Rich Man, who's a sports with Rich. He's and got a book coming, a depending book. on when and you see now, this video. Social media, it's Facebook, Rich Man Cuso, Twitter, Ring 786, and the numerous websites I write for. I don't have a, rare, a website. You can look up Keep It in the Ring. Sometimes there's stuff on there. All right. I'm writing every day, almost every other day. Google my name, you'll find me. And always keep it in the ring and keep those memories alive. All right. Thanks for coming along, guys. Uh, we're gonna get out of here before we hit and uh, appreciate it. Check out this check out this neighborhood, Arthur Ave. Yep. Go to the restaurant. Little literally the Bronx is still Breathe in known. some of the stories, some yeah. of the history. Exactly. Until the next one. What was this place you called? This was a fuck show. <laughs> what is it? By the minute? By the hour. And that's, uh, it was or it is. It always was closed and opened up again.
There's one in every neighborhood. 